<laughs> yeah, it was complicated. Uh, weather Still question. Is. Who could we ask? That guy. Ho. Maybe me. Hey. That hey. Brian Brenton's here. Brian Brenton. Well, this actually relates to Todd's forecast for today a little bit. You said yeah. filtered sun. Right. Uh, I got this question in from a viewer yesterday. It has to do with things you occasionally see in the sky. What are sun dogs and why are they only visible sometimes? Does it have to do with the moisture in the air? This came in from Catherine in Freiburg yesterday. Interestingly, yesterday I actually got a picture from Freeport and there's a little faint halo around the sun there. We're going to start with halos, sun halos. They form when there are these high thin clouds, much like we see today, that kind of filter out the sun. What happens is the sunlight hits these ice crystals up in the clouds, and then that bends or refracts the sunlight. And it essentially makes this 22 degree halo, we call it, around the sun. You can see these any time of year. This was actually a picture in our weather system from last summer. I usually see them at least once or twice a summer on the beach. Uh, but as far as sun dogs go, they're a little different. They usually actually happen in the winter when the sun is lower on the horizon and you get these spokes of sunlight around the sun, kind of on either end, usually on very cold days when there are ice crystals lower in the horizon and the sun kind of hits them and again bends and refracts the light. So you may see a couple of those today. If you have a question, you can find me on Facebook or Twitter. Send it on in, and you get bonus points if you use the hashtag wake me up. <laughs> oh, so bonus points. Are keep, we keeping score? Uh, keep a score. Uh, well, it's a competition. Speaking Got a of running numbers, list now, so. we keep adding people to the oh, desk as we go. So, <laughs> 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 behind me, scared. Can we all Yeah, Chelsea Barks here with 